Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars Vintage Collection action figure review. Today we're looking at VC198, we have Endor Luke Skywalker. Uh, picked this up today from local Big W, um, if you saw my post on Instagram, they had at least a dozen of each. Um, and that was from both waves. I didn't see any more layers, they may have been tucked away at the back, um, but they definitely had, uh, you know, Luke's, Tusken Raiders, Death Star droids, uh, the Ewok, whoever that was now, I can't remember. And um, the other figure, yep. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, don't recall seeing any layers. There may have been some there. But, uh, you know, this, this looks really nice on a vintage card. Um, you know, it took me so many years to get the, uh, the most recent Endor Luke. And, uh, you know, I should have known they'd re-release one. And this one, it looks pretty good. So I'm excited to open it up and uh, take a look. Again, VC198. The card's only a little bent because I had it stuffed in my backpack. Um, on the way home from work, I knew I was going to open it. So here I am. Let's crack it open and take a look. All right, guys, here is Luke out of the packaging. And I've got to say, this is a really, really good Luke Skywalker figure. Um, using pretty much the same body as the 2010 Vintage Collection re uh, release for Jedi Knight Luke, um, which was, again, reused in parts um, for the lightsaber construction. It's been reused a couple of times since. So, yeah, it is using the definitive Jedi Luke body for the most part. Um, <clears throat> it's, you know, great accessories. New head sculpt. Um, yeah, the helmet isn't removable. So, yeah, we're... We've got this uh, pretty damn good looking face face sculpt, face paint, if I can focus on it. Um, I think it's pretty good. Um, and yeah, I think, I believe it'll be nice and simple enough to yeah, just swap out heads with another one. Um, that Jedi Knight Luke did get re-released for the Vintage Collection uh, maybe a year or two back. So if you did pick that one up, you just do a head swap and you can have him with the poncho and the... Uh, helmetless look so he does come with his lit lightsaber lightsaber hilt and the blaster he uses in Jabba's palace and uh, yeah obviously the poncho which is very nicely done um, they didn't give him the belt that he has used in the past um, instead of just, just an elastic band which it looks fine, um, you know, that's all right. I don't care really, it's it's not a big problem for me. Um, obviously if you want to remove it, you get to cut it. Um, but yeah, underneath we've got the uh, chest piece there. So you can just sort of have that plain Jedi body. But uh, yeah, I don't know why you would. The poncho looks good. Um, I may end up swapping that out for the belt of the uh, older Endor Luke that I have. Sorry, just zoom out again. There we go. I just feel like it might look a little bit better than the elastic strap, but you know, for mine, that's that's fine. It looks good. Um, I really don't care. I think overall the figure looks great. Um, the lightsaber can be sort of pegged onto his underbelt there. Which I guess is why they didn't use the belt. But um, yeah, it looks good. I, I do like this figure a lot. It's nice to see each of the Endor crew sort of get an upgrade. Um, I still haven't picked up the Han. I just, it's just not different enough. I, knowing me, I probably will end up picking it up just to, just to have the most updated versions. Um, given that I had Leia like a couple of months ago, and uh, yeah, now Luke. So I may end up picking up the Han just so I can have basically the best versions, even though I'm not sold on the sort of paint apps on the Han. But yeah, I think Luke works out well. Leia works out really well. Hopefully a speeder bike re-release would be, you know, absolutely perfect to give these figures uh, a little bit of extra, bit of extra juice, you know? <laughs> But uh, yeah, got all the great articulation, you know, 
ankles, wrists, all the good stuff. It's a good figure. I, I like it a lot. I'm really glad this one has come out. And, you know, I didn't mention the card, but it looks great on the card too. So if you're a carded collector, you're in for a treat. Because it's uh, one of those original Power of the Force with the coin that has uh, been translated over to the old, old style vintage card, which is really cool to see. So there is Endor Luke. Love to hear your comments and your thoughts down in the description below. Oh, we'd actually just zoom up a little bit and take a look at the detail on the on the helmet because it looks pretty good. Yeah, you know, it looks like a separate piece, but obviously they've just placed that on there in instead of some hair. A little bit of hair poking out the back there, but yeah, really nicely done. Like I said, an easy head swap, and you can have a unhelmeted and or Luke. So why you wouldn't pick up two to do that? You know, if you're a super duper. Super duper completist. But yeah, thanks very much for watching. Always do appreciate your time checking out my videos and my reviews and and all that. So if you enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And check out all the links in the description for my social medias and I have a Redbubble store where I've made my own merch, um, some cool stuff there, and other bits and pieces. Just take a look around and uh, click around and have a look. That would be awesome. Again, thank you very much for watching. Till my next video, may the force be with you, always.